Maryland Spotlight. It's all about Maryland living. Welcome to Maryland Spotlight. I'm Kim Knight. I don't know about you, but sometimes I wake up in the morning and I'm doing this because I'm seeing all these crow's feet and it's, it's scary to age, but there are things you can do about it. Joining me today, Dr. Brent Byerly, Artistry in Plastic Surgery. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. Now, what are the most commonly performed procedures for the face? Actually, the, probably the simplest, easiest thing for people to do from a surgical point of view is eyelid surgery. Most commonly, the upper eyelids, where people just develop some redundancy of the upper eyelid skin, where they really have difficulty putting on their makeup, or they just sort of don't look as youthful as they used to, you can actually have the upper eyelid skin removed quite simply and easily and frequently with that they'll also get the lower eyelids addressed either removing the skin or some of the fat associated with the bags there because mm -hmm, a lot of times you know with the eyelids you, it, it's hard to see sometimes yeah on occasion the eyelid laxity can become so significant that it can obstruct a person's vision and it can actually help to improve their visual field even okay well let's talk about neck lift surgery yeah. Um, when a person develops laxity of the skin of the neck or even of the mid-facial area, they actually can then become a candidate for what is pretty much called a standard facelift. And the best way for a person to sort of determine if they're a you know, a candidate for that is a simple test of just lying down on the bed and looking at themselves in the mirror with gravity redraping things pretty much the way it's done with the surgery. So if you want to know what you're going to look like after the operation, just lie down, look at yourself in the mirror, and that's pretty much what your results are going to look like. That's really interesting. Now, do you find that some people get combination of, of procedures done? Yeah, it's actually quite common for people to do the upper and lower eyelid surgery in combination and also quite frequently they'll get the facelift done at the same time and all of those procedures are pretty much an operation that a person only ever gets done once in their life so it's one and done and so they get sort of all the things covered with one operation one anesthesia. That's what I was going to ask you how long does it typically last? Um, I like to use the term it's setting back the clock it sets back the clock somewhere between 5, 10, 15 years depending upon how severe the condition is um, so they will always look better than they would have but the clock does continue to run but they never it never sort of goes away. Right, and there are misconceptions about it because it's not, you know, a lot of people think that if you get something done that they're going to know, oh, she's had work. But, you know, that's really not the case. There are so many new procedures out there that just, that it doesn't make you look different, it just makes you look better. And you feel better inside. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Well, and if anybody wanted to get in touch with you about a consultation, do you have a website? Um, yeah, the website is artistryandplasticsurgery.com. It's actually AIPSMD.com. Okay, doctor, thanks for joining me today. My pleasure. Thank you, Kim. And thanks for joining us today on Maryland Spotlight. I'm Kim Knight.